What is good on guys, this is Johnny of Fresh Content YouTube and welcome back to another video in the uh, Android Studio app development tutorials. And today uh, we're gonna actually focus on the list tab we added right here in the previous tutorial. So first we actually have to design this tab. So to do that we're just gonna expand the tab host right here. We can go to the tab content and then we're gonna see the tab creator and the tab contact list. Now I'm actually just gonna drag and drop the tab um, contact list right above this tab creator thing and now we're actually in the layout of the uh, tab contact list so now we can actually add our um, elements in here so we want to have a, um, a list of all the contacts we created so to do that we are first just I'm just first gonna design this header right here so I'm just gonna put the margin on about 15 dp I think that's all right. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. Well, let's put it on 10 dp, like so. And now what we're going to do? Uh, we're just gonna, yeah, <laughs> just collapse this um, list. And now, what we are going to do? We're gonna add a list view. And this is actually quite a difficult process because we actually need to create another class as well. So this can be quite tricky, but uh, in general, it's actually not too hard. So now we're going to go and find the list view, which you have right here. So we're just going to drag and drop this in here. And we're going to center this. And now we are actually going to need to um, actually make this so it's going to fill the part. Or actually, wrap content is going to be fine, I think, for now. So. We're just going to leave it at that for now. And now we actually have to create another class. So we're just going to right click on our package right here, go to new, and new Java class, like so. And now we are actually going to call this contact. So this is going to be our contact class. So just hit OK. And it's going to say public class contact. OK. So first we're going to uh, generate the constructor. So we're just going to do public contact. And now what we're going to pass through is, of course, all the variables we need. So we are going to need um, some variables. So the first one we actually have is kind of the name. So we're just going to do string. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, the string name. And then what else did we add? I think it was another string for. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see. Oh, let's go here. For the phone, okay. A string phone. And then another string for the email. And then another string for, let's see, for the address. Like so. Okay, so now we've got all these strings. And now what we're going to do, we're going to create some variables up here. So we're going to create some private variables. So we're going to create private strings. And now we're going to do underscore name, underscore phone, underscore uh, email, I think, and underscore what else, blah, 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 address. Okay, like so. So now these are all of our strings. And now what we're going to do, we're actually going to do underscore name equals to name and the line then underscore phone equals to phone underscore email equals to email and underscore address equals to address like so okay so now we're gonna go down here and we actually need some getters and setters but we're not actually gonna put the setters we're just going to put the getters for now so to do that uh, we're just gonna do uh, void, or actually public void, public void, get name, okay, and now I'm just going to return underscore name, and this is actually what I'm going to do for all of these variables up here, so I'll be back, oh, of course, I'm sorry, we actually have to make this a public string, I'm really sorry, okay, like so. And so I'm going to do this for all the variables up here, and um, I'll be back in a second. OK, 
Okay, so now we created our um, contact class, and so now we can actually create a list in our main activity. So to do that, we're actually going to put a variable up here, and we're going to make a new list, and this is going to be of the type contact. So just going to type contact right here. And then what we're going to do, first I'm just going to import this real quick, and then I'm going to call this contacts equals to a new array list of the type contact like that okay so now we are actually done with that we actually need to kind of make a new adapter so to do that um, I'm actually gonna need to hold on we're just gonna go down here okay okay so we are going to make a private class and we're gonna call this contact list adapter and then we're just going to do extends contact uh... no we're just going to do array adapter of the type contact okay and now just get all of our codes in here okay so now we actually have to create a, a constructor so to do that we're just going to type public contact list adapter and now we're going to do super now we're going to pass through the main activity dot this and then we're going to pass through the layout so oh yeah before we actually do that hold on a second I'm just going to just comment this out. Before we actually do that, we have to create a new layout. So we're going to go to our layout tab right here and we have to basically create the list item layout. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layout resource file. We're just going to call this um, just call it list view item and I just hit OK. And now we got this new um, XML file generated and this is vertical okay this is fine so for our contact right here we're gonna need to create some fields so we're just gonna go here and we kind of gonna use and I'm just gonna go ahead and design this so I'll be back in a second Okay, um, so now I'm done with this layout right here, so um, I just created this uh, quick layout. So we're going to have the contact name as kind of the header, and then we're going to have a phone and an email on the address displayed. So this is how the list view item is going to look like. And um, if you guys want me to, I can even do it so there's going to be an image uh, assigned to the contact. So if you want me to do that, then uh, I can do that as well, so just leave it in the comments if you want to. Alright, so we can go back right here, and we can just do main activity dot this, and now we just have to specify our layout, so r dot layout dot list view item, and I think that's already about it. Oh no, actually we have to uh, use our contact list as well. Or no, contact it was like so. Alright, so this for now is just the constructor and some basic stuff which we added and in the next tutorial we're actually gonna yeah just finish up this class right here and then we will finally get a list of all of our contacts. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. My name is John, your first comment on YouTube and uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.